This is your WAUK Daily News Roundup for The Shaw, 101.1 FM and 540 AM in Waukesha. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. At least 65 people in nine states are sick after eating eggs infected with salmonella. Public health and agriculture officials have traced the source to an egg farm in Wisconsin. The eggs were distributed to Wisconsin, Illinois, and Michigan under labels like Milo's Poultry Farms or Tony's Fresh Market. They've since been recalled. Authorities in Two Rivers are investigating the remains of a human skeleton. They're not confirming or denying that it could be Elijah Vu, the three-year-old boy who's been missing since February. The sheriff's office says a deer hunter found the remains. The sheriff says he cannot provide specific information about details for now. A man is charged in the shooting death of UW-Whitewater student-athlete Kara Welsh. Chad Edwards of Loves Park, Illinois, made his initial court appearance Friday. He's charged with first-degree homicide. It would take a million dollars to bail him out of the Walworth County Jail. Donald Trump has denied knowing much about Project 2025, but he embraced one of its key provisions at a Saturday rally in Mozanie. We will ultimately eliminate the Federal Department of Education and send education back to Wisconsin and back to the state. Project 2025 is a sweeping action plan for the next Republican president to overhaul the government. Last week in Wisconsin, Education Secretary Miguel Cardona warned public schools are under attack. Democrats are literally going to New Heights to warn about the Heritage Foundation's Project 2025. Airplanes pulled banners over college football games here in Wisconsin and in other key swing states this weekend. Donald Trump denies having a direct connection to Project 2025, but he has embraced some of its key ideas. A new study finds people in rural Wisconsin feel better about drinking raw milk than people in cities or suburbs. Sean Patterson led the study for the University of Pennsylvania. Pasteurization it doesn't change the nutritional value of milk. It doesn't significantly change the taste of milk. And so the risks really don't outweigh any of the benefits. Untreated milk has been linked to illness outbreaks. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Here's what you need to know closer to home. For WAUK News, I'm Stuart J. Waddles. A dispute over tattoos at a Heartland bar last summer has resulted in a seven-year prison sentence. 65-year-old Kevin Seymour of Waukesha was sentenced late last week. He was found guilty of felony murder and the death of Josh Davies. He died from head injuries he got when Seymour punched him outside the bar. An officer shot someone in Sheboygan last night. Police say they were responding to reports of a man waving a gun near 13th Street in Superior. The 23-year-old suspect reportedly attacked and disarmed one officer before being shot by another. The suspect was flown to the hospital and is reportedly in critical condition. The officer attacked suffered minor injuries. We're working on learning more. The Waukesha School Board hole has been filled. At a meeting last week, the board selected Thomas Harlan to fill the vacant seat. It was previously held by Markwell Moore, who resigned in July. Harlan will be sworn in this week with a term running through April. Check your eggs. A salmonella outbreak has led Milo's Poultry Farms to recall all of its egg products. The recalled eggs, which include all types and sizes, were sold under the name Milo's Poultry Farms and Tony's Fresh Market. The Great Lake is getting props from the governor. Tony Evers has proclaimed September Coastal Awareness Month in Wisconsin, highlighting the crucial role of Lake Michigan in the state's economy. In celebration of the month, a guidebook has been released. The 2024 Wisconsin Great Lakes Chronicle features articles on various coastal issues and initiatives. And that's what you need to know. I'm Stuart J. Waddles, WAUK News. The Brewers get set to head west. Hi, I'm Jimmy Cuska with sports filling in for Mike Clemens. After dropping two of three games to the Rockies and having won just twice in the past seven games, manager Pat Murphy said that it was a tough homestand for his team. You know, it was a tough homestand, and we've had games like this. If you looked at the St. Louis series, we had games just like this where once we something didn't go our way, we didn't. We didn't produce right. We didn't fight back right after that. Milwaukee will set out on a six-game road trip out west beginning tomorrow in San Francisco. 
they'll play Arizona this weekend. The Brewers are still nine games up in the NL Central with 19 games to play. On Sunday, it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Indianapolis Colts as each team seeks its first victory. For the Packers, they will be without Jordan Love, who is expected to miss at least three weeks with an MCL sprain. Malik Willis, who the Packers traded for in the preseason, will start this week's game. The Athletic reports that Green Bay has reached out to free agent quarterback Ryan Tannehill as well. On Saturday, 2-0 Wisconsin Badgers football will take on Alabama. That game will kick off at 11 a.m. Filling in for Mike Clemens, I'm Jimmy Cuska with Civic Media Sports. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Standing ovations are not uncommon at film festivals, but a nine-minute standing ovation is. That's how long the crowd at the Venice Film Festival clapped for Daniel Craig after his performance in a movie called Queer. The film is based on beat writer William Burroughs' novel from 1985. Craig plays an American expat living amongst a small group of Americans in Mexico who starts a relationship with Stark's character. The film is scheduled for release in the U.S. on October 6th. The new season of Dancing with the Stars is right around the corner. Some of the stars that will be dancing, as revealed on Good Morning America, include 90210's Tori Spelling, former NBA player Dwight Howard, kind of a reach, Pretty Little Liars' Chandler Kinney, Bachelorette star Jen Tran, model Brooks Nader, and actor Eric Roberts. And finally, a reason to watch Dancing with the Stars. Season 33 of the show premieres September 17th on ABC. Michael Douglas would like his real name back, which is Michael Douglas. Fifty years ago, when a young Michael John Douglas, now known as Michael Keaton, burst onto the Hollywood scene, his name was already taken with the Screen Actors Guild by Nepo Baby Michael Douglas of Wall Street fame. Now, according to People magazine, Keaton wants it back, or at least a derivation thereof. The Beetlejuice Beetlejuice star from now on plans to go by Michael Keaton Douglas. The grieving process appears to be over for the band Linkin Park, seven years after the death of lead singer Chester Bennington. The band has a new lead singer, new material, and a tour in the works. Replacing Bennington on vocals will be Emily Armstrong, formerly of the band Dead Sarah. Chester Bennington took his own life in 2017. Linkin Park's new album is expected to drop November 15th of this year. In Jeff Bridges is one of the coolest guys ever news, Jeff Bridges is one of the coolest guys ever. Aside from having an excellent reputation as an actor and overall cool dude, yes, that's a reference to The Big Lebowski, actress Winona Ryder said Bridges refused to kiss her during her audition for the film Fearless. The Stranger Things actress said at the time Bridges was 43 years old and she was 21 years old. Bridges said he didn't want to kiss her because she was the age of his daughter. Further expanding his legend of coolness, Rosie Perez, who appeared in Fearless Opposite Bridges, was worried she would not get cast because of the interracial element. Perez says Bridges went to bat for her, and she not only ended up getting the part, but drew an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Ryder is a two-time Oscar nominee herself. Her most recent film, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, opened up this past weekend. And as far as Jeff Bridges goes, the dude abides. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me. Peach Waba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. It is going to be mostly sunny today with a high in the low 80s this afternoon. The wind out of the west at around 5 to 15. Tonight, mostly clear, upper 50s to near 60. Tomorrow, partly cloudy. Once again, high in the low 80s. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 58. That's your WAUK Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WAUKradio.com.